Some of us have trouble getting anything done in the kitchen, even with perfect eyesight. But Cynthia Bowers met an amazing young chef in Chicago who cooks up a storm, despite the fact that she's been blind since birth. Give me one duck, two beef rare, and a rack of lamb. Where's my lobster? With a recipe of high heat, razor sharp knives, and all the kitchen commotion, how could someone totally blind like Laura Martinez make it as a chef? I don't take no for an answer, and I just do it. That desire earned her a place at the prestigious Le Cordon Bleu in Chicago. And it was amazing to watch the skill that she has with a knife. She's now earned top marks from her instructors. I know she can't see, but the sounds, the smell, and her touch are amplified. It just it, it gives me chills when I think about her cooking and what she does every day. It, it blew my mind away. Platitudes aside, when it came time to landing that all important internship, Laura's was at the Chicago Lighthouse Cafeteria, a center for the blind. Laura has expressed concern herself about will a restaurant be willing to hire her? Oh, of course. She will face that discrimination. And it's a reality. That shouldn't be the case. It's grossly unfair. I'm still learning, I'm still overcoming. Obstacle. But word about Laura's talents began to filter out and reach the kitchen of famed Chicago chef Charlie Trotter. We arranged a surprise visit. I, I've heard all about you. Thank you. I've heard you make some incredible food. I'm so proud of you. You're Thank just you doing so great. Much. You're doing great. Thank you. That's what we were expecting words of encouragement. You've got the gift. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. What came next was a total shock. I think you have a winner here. <laughs> so. So you're going to come and work for me, right? Have you an honor. I'm not Have going to let any honor. other chefs in town steal you. A job offer. This totally blind chef now has a clear vision of her future. Chef, I'm just going to give you a hug here because I'm very proud of you. Thank you so, so much. You did a great job. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.